Ashram for unfoldment today, January the 9th. We start the day with the message for the day as every day of the week. Now, if you are following, yesterday we were looking at the opposing forces that work in our life. And these opposing forces that are there by their interactuation give form to circumstances. So you know, there are different opposing forces that will be shaping your circumstances. And these opposing forces, in fact, work um, according to natural laws. So they are automatic things. They simply, uh, uh, by the interaction between the two, create a form, a particular form. In touch with the source. Reflect of the, on this. How much of all this are you building in your life? What are you giving importance to? I repeat again basic things for you to remember and reassure yourself. So, whatever you give importance in life, that is what governs you. So, what are you building in your life? What are the opposing forces that you are feeding? Uh, what kind of formations can come from feeding those opposing forces? What is it that you are giving importance? What is really important? Because what you are giving importance is what is going to govern you. If you give importance to money, money will govern you. If you give importance to relationships, relationships will govern you. If you give importance to truth, truth will govern you. If you give importance to love, love will govern you. So the question is, where are you giving importance? True education, real education is to develop the student's inner self. Now, that's one of the activities that this foundation is engaged in. To develop the student's inner self, something that schools today don't do, but we will leave that for another day. The proper way to open the heart, and here is the secret, is to go beyond the mind and not let the mind interfere. So really to, to get in touch with that uh, essence within you is the secret to overcome the discrepancies of the mind. Because that is the light that will put light in the darkness of all those discrepancies. And the minute you connect with that light is like the minute you switch on the light in a room that the darkness was that was there Im immediately disappears. In our spiritual practices, what we do is to put the mind aside and be in touch with the source that can overcome all the discrepancies of the mind. So, we teach um, certain meditation techniques and spiritual practices that are designed so that you can put the mind aside and connect directly with the heart. So, that is the most direct path that exists because it connects directly with you by putting aside all the discrepancies of the mind. With meditation practices, we go beyond the various recesses of the mind and feel that force within. So, we think about things, we think about people, we think about circumstances, but we have forgot to feel people, to feel our circumstances, to feel ourselves. So feel, feel, feel. And what could be then the practice for today? Well, the practice for today is precisely that. Put the mind aside. For today, put the mind aside and 
stick to your feelings. So when you find yourself thinking about a circumstances you are in, you just feel what what feeling in you is that circumstance. If uh, you know you are thinking about someone you know, well, try to not think and feel that person. What that person feels, not what I think about that person, what that person feels. So for today, practice feeling and substitute feeling for thinking. And remember, it's only a few hours, it's only the scope for one day, it's only one day, and it is easy. You just, for today, every time you are thinking about something, try to feel that same thing, putting the mind aside. And to put the mind aside, you might use your mantra or the meditation techniques, or you can do a pranayama. There are many techniques to help you put the mind aside. And if you want to learn these techniques, you can do it in, an on, in our online platform. You have all the information below. You can also subscribe to our channel and you can see the videos uh, that we every day upload. So thank you very much. Namaste to everybody. Have a beautiful day.